Hello everyone, welcome back to World BL Only Knows. I'm BL and today I'll be sharing with you all my merchandise that I purchased at Anime Expo in the LA Convention Center this year, 2017. And just be aware that I didn't buy items that were limited to Ultime merchandise. I bought things that I like too, but I'll be sharing all of it. And feel free to ask me any questions um, below in the comment box about my experience. So just a little bit about the con. Um, Anime Expo or AX is the largest convention um, related to manga and anime in North America. And it's usually four days um, in the 4th of July weekend. Actually in Los Angeles, official anime day is on July 3rd. And so that's why usually the con takes or falls into the weekend of July 4th. So this year I'm only able to go one day. Uh, it's starting on Saturday. Uh, day one is Saturday, July 1st through July 4th, which is Tuesday. And I only went to day two, which is Sunday. Okay. And usually the con has over 100,000 people attending. And so you can imagine it's ridiculously hot. Um, lots of body odor. and But everyone's really nice. It's not one of those places where you have to worry about people being rude to you or stealing your stuff. I mean, you should still be careful, but it's just the people there, they're a lot nicer and friendly. And so if you're ever thinking about going, I recommend you to go. And just a heads up, I mainly spent my time in the exhibition hall. I didn't go to any panels this day, but I will explain that more in detail. And just a little bit more information. So just to start off, they have an event called Day Zero, which is when you can go pick up your pass. And sometimes they even have events you can participate in, but I just went to pick up my badges with my friends. And so Day Zero for me, I went on Friday night. And they have you go in a long line that basically is like the game, the mobile game Snake in the old game. And so you just keep walking and walking for about, I want to say 30 minutes. And that's actually not bad because I heard people who came to day one, even though they came early, it took them two hours to get their badges. And so again, it took me about 30 to 40 minutes to pick up my badge and they give you a free lanyard. So this is mine. It has the um, Fate, Fate Grand Order, okay, Fate Zero stuff on there, which is cool. And they give you a free bag, which I lost. This year there was Attack on Titans bag and what else? Final Fantasy bag and Crunchyroll. I ended up with the Crunchyroll because again, I went late, which is 7 p.m. But if you went early, you would have got the Attack on Titans, which is the more popular one. Okay, so Day Zero, yes. So I recommend you if you do attend, go to Day Zero if you can. Otherwise, go super, super early to pick up your badges on the first day one. Okay, So skipping day one, I went to day two. So with my badge, I just went in. And the exhibition hall on day two, three, and four, they open at 10 a.m. I actually got there at 10 a.m., but wasn't able to go in until 10.30 because of parking. And parking in general in the convention, it does tend to book up or fill up easily. So make sure you go early. I came a little late which was not good, but I was able to find parking for about $15, which is actually less than parking in the lot. But it's again, it's hard to come by. And as soon as I left, it got bumped up to, what was it, to $25, which is kind of a lot for walking, for still walking kind of far. And so I was lucky and parked maybe like five minutes away from the con. And so I went and spent all my time in the exhibition hall, which is where they have a lot of merchandise that you go through. And I want to say there's like thousands of aisles, but I'll just, you could look up that information, but I'll just talk about what items I bought and maybe give you a little bit of information about each one in case there's ever a time you want to see more content on that franchise and I can do my best to share with you. Okay, so again, the exhibition hall was from 10.30 to 5 p.m. I spent the whole day walking, just walking through one time, just to look at merchandise, and I didn't take a break. 
So me and my friend are really hardcore in that sense. He does not take breaks at all. And he likes to look very thoroughly. And towards, I want to say we went through halfway the exhibition. And then we realized we only had two hours left. So this is 3 p.m. now. And so we kind of had to skim and wasn't able to look at the rest of the booths thoroughly. So anyways... Uh, a little bit more information about the exhibition hall if you've never been to Anime Expo before. It's not organized in the way that, like, only the front booths are the large vendors, and so they, they coordinate it more, I guess, organized. So they have the merchandise and display, or like a, kind of like a a display so you could look at it before and then you could find exactly or tell the cashier exactly what you want. The other vendors which are more smaller I guess in size uh, they have their stuff kind of randomly so you have to kind of search. So yeah and then they tend to have the same merchandise but you kind of have to check to see compare prices if you can. Some vendors they sell the same thing for a lower price compared to a different one they'll sell the same thing for and bump up the price a lot to make commission or whatever. Okay, so finally moving on to the merchandise. Oh my gosh, I've been talking for some minutes. Anyways, okay, moving on. So, first thing I want to talk about, first half will be Ultima stuff. And so the first thing I got was free. Um, I filled out a survey and was able to receive a Shall We Date bag. It's very nice. And during the event, they actually had a poll too. So you can vote for your um, your husband though. I personally don't play the Shall We Date series because it's a mobile. It's on the mobile platform, and so I prefer anything on handheld, like handheld console or PC. So I maybe I'll look into it later on, but right now I don't. I'm not playing. But even though the art is really fantastic, I have to say for a mobile game. So I just have not been getting into it, but. So I got the bag and two pins, and these were all for free. So participating in their activities. So one of the activities is taking a picture and posting on social media, which is similar to the Hakuoki Cafe. And the two pins that I got are right here. Okay, so that one I got is this one. I think this is... I don't know exactly what game this is, but we took pictures with um, posters of these guys, and then this is the first pin I got. And then the second one is having a 10... This was really cool, by the way. So you basically have a 10-minute or 10-second video with one of the 2D guys, and so you pick um, which guy that you like. There's two that you pick them. And they, they interact with you kind of lively, so they talk and they breathe and stuff. So it's really cool. Let me pull up an image really quick so maybe you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is my Snapchat. So I posted my picture with the hashtag. And then this is the, the button where he's moving. It's so cool. Anyways, so yeah, for that one, I got this pin. It was pretty nice. Okay, so moving on. I'll move a little faster. So the next one is also a free bag uh, from Cyber. And again, they choose great games and with great art, but it's just, again, it's on the mobile, so I just don't want to play it, but nice bag. Okay, next thing I'm going to move on is to Ensemble Stars. So Ensemble Stars <laughs> is a mobile game. I know. I said I don't play it, but... I did for a year and I just could not keep up with it because it would drain my batteries and the mobile games just tend to require a lot of attention. They ask you to log on every hour to participate in an event if you're hardcore. And so Ensemble Stars is a idol game. It's not rhythm, it's more like card collecting. And so they have scouts where you oh scouts where you randomly pick and then you you get a cards, um, random stars, the random rarity, and also participating 
in events where oh ranking so you have to play like say for example like 24 hours you have to rack up the most points by playing a lot and so that's just so tough if you want like nice cards but um so I stopped playing but I still love the franchise I, I love all the characters and so what did I get so a lot of the ensemble star stuff were random keychains or pins and so the ones I got were Okay. okay, so I opened that already, but I'm going to show you what's inside. So this is what, so this is one, and this is the second one. I got four of these, okay? And so they range about $8, 8 to $9. So again, you have to check to see who's selling, who's selling at a better price. And so I opened it, and basically the pins you get are these long pins. And I like this one. It seems very sturdy. So again, they're random, and my but my favorite idol is Hokuto and Nazuna. And so when I picked my first time, I got Keito, which I'm okay with. I like all of them, but um, again, the Akatsuki, I forgot. They're they're a trio group. Uh, it's like my least favorite group, just because they they don't really have a story. And then my, but my friend, when he picked the very first one, is the only five star card I have in the game, and, and I got two copies of, and it's of Nazina. So cute, it's my favorite card that I have. Okay, and then so I felt like, oh, like I want to get more, and so when I picked, I got um, Mashiro from Rabbits. Which is cute. This is their Sherlock collection, detective collection. But then when my friend picked, again, he got another cute one from the ice cream set, which is Mika, which is the the four star card compared to not just another five star card. And I just love those two cards, and so I'm just so glad that he picked up good ones. He was really lucky. I'll show you a few more items that he picked up for me, and um, we randomly got the best one. So. So moving on. So hopefully, maybe he'll post the haul video, and so we could see all the cool stuff that he got. But moving on, um, Idolish Seven. So Idolish Seven is another idol game for the mobile, and this one is a rhythm game, rhythm card collecting game. And so I don't know much about Idolish Seven just because I played it simply for the rhythm. Like I like their music, but I don't really know their characters well or their stories because there I don't think there's a lot of guides or translations. So this is what I got. I got this uh, phone strap. And so this one's unique because the box was um, each box had a solo character and based on the solo characters you could choose or you could randomly get five images of that same character so uh, for sure you can choose the character you like and the one I got was his um, artsy one so this is cute okay it was about ten dollars okay moving on amnesia world so amnesia world is basically amnesia's bandits that has not been translated or has uh, an access is not has not expressed any interest in translating over so fingers crossed but anyways so it's so that one I my favorite character is Sheen so I did buy a bag which retail or it cost me about $22 and it's so cute because it's like his his casual look instead of his uniform or whatever it is which I do like his uniform too but it's so cute so I got that and I also got Oh, Amnesia World, they also have a phone strap with the scenery. And so they're based off of the CGs of the Amnesia World game. So that one, I had my friend pick. I wanted, obviously, I wanted the Sheen one. Wait, let's focus. Hello? Alright, I guess not. Anyways, so I got, but I ended up getting Iki, which is still cute too. I like all these characters. Okay, so okay. oh, but this is a scenery with a pin instead of a phone strap, like unlike the Idolish Seven. So moving on, oh, the next thing is one of my favorite items that I bought this weekend. It is an art book which I was looking forward to buying this year, and I've been 
really fighting myself whether I should get this because it's really overpriced, but there's not a lot of these copies or at least um, merchandise that you can find about this franchise, but it is my favorite Ultimate franchise and it is Brothers Conflict. And so the anime was... Where's my lanyard? The anime was released in 2013 and the art is not as good as the actual game itself. And so I'm going to show a few pages of the art. So again, Brothers Conflict is originally an Ultimate game and then they came out with the anime. So the art is just so good in the original. And then when they made the anime, it's just not as good. And my favorite character, if you're wondering, is actually part of the trio, the triplets. And my favorite is the Baki, which is the oldest of the three. Okay, so Brothers Conflict and this one was pricey again. That's why I was hesitating to buy it, and it is fifty dollars. Okay. The next thing I'm going to move on is Axis. So Axis sold their own merchandise. And so this time I bought a Hakuoki game again, but this is for the PS3. And so if you know the series, um, you would know that um, the PS3 version had the fan disc included as well. And so this is what it looks like. Hakuoki. And then this one is actually the limited edition set. So it comes with the Chizu hairpin and cone. And so let's just open it real quick. So I can show you what it looks like inside. Okay, cool. Cover off. And so this nice design. Okay, I'm gonna open it. Whoa! Okay. So in here you have uh, we have the game, we have the hair brush, comb, and they have the charm and her hairpin. The hairpin's kind of kind of cheap looking, but I was hoping it'd be the hairpin that Heisuke bought for her or something cute like that. But it's okay. It's um, it was actually cheap. It was thirty dollars. Usually, I think it was like. Normally fifty dollars when they first sold it. I'm not sure, but yeah. So Axis is there. They're selling their games, and they're really cheap. Like um, Period Cube just came out. They marked it down to thirty dollars instead of thirty instead of forty. So whatever. Anyway, so that's Axis. Next is Osmafia. So Osmafia is um, a manga gamer game that they translated, and it's their first Ultimate game. And also the first non 18 up game, I guess. I'm not sure. But um, usually they're known for their 18 up content, but I'm so glad that they translated Osmafia over. Um, let's see. So Osmafia has the same artist as Diabolic Lover. So if you like that style, then it's here. Let's see. So, oh yeah. So really quick for access. They also gave me a free plush and a bag. I gave my bag to my friend, but the plush. is this one. So I don't play Blaze Blue, so I'm not sure what it is, but it's cute. So going back, um, Osmafia. Okay. So for Osmafia, the, the, the merchant was like, oh, this is exclusive. Like, we never had this um, stuff before. And I was like, okay, like, I was going to buy it anyway. But, okay, so they have this clear folder. Kind of cute, like chibi, and then if you look closely, the art is like um, their costumes are kind of like random, so or career, it's really cute. So, for example, I think this Scarlet, he's dressed up as a detective. I don't think you can see it well. He's very cute. Scarlet's my favorite, by the way, so you'll see that later. Um, the clear folder was eight dollars, and then I got a microfiber towel for about ten, and then they did come out with an anime that came out recently um let's see it was in chibi form which you could see and it's not based it's a spin-off basically of the actual story but the story if you're interested you could buy a hard copy on manga mangogamer.com 
or you can buy it on Steam. Okay, so I got that. I also got pins. Uh, with six pins of each character. And this is really cute. And this one I got for $12. Yeah. And so my favorite character, Scarlet, which is based off of Red Riding Hood. And this is like the original CD of soundtrack. So this is, they do this stuff sometimes. Character songs, there we go. That's what it's called. So I haven't heard of this and I haven't found it on YouTube, which is good. So it'll be like something for me to look forward to. And so again, Oz Mafia. Uh, the story is basically revolves around uh, the Wizard of Oz and spins off like a kind of a fusion between Oz Mafia, all the fairy tale characters, and like Italy where they have like Mafia and games and stuff. So it's like that. But it's cool. Okay. So moving on to the, I think the last Ultimate related game. So this one's Token Ramzu. So Token Ramzu, surprisingly, they're coming up with another anime series. And my friend's telling me, like, oh, they're putting a lot of, um, they're giving it a large budget or something. There's a lot of famous voice actors for it. So I'm looking forward to that. But I actually haven't finished the first anime series, so I got into that. And so this one, what I'm looking forward to is the Good Smile Company, which they, uh, a company that makes figurines. They're coming out with a new one, the scale figure of my favorite guy, um, Mikazuki, which is the one of the three beautiful swords or whatever. And so he's coming out with a 1 8 scale. So they came out with one last year, but now they're coming out with another one, which is way cuter, which I'm looking forward to. I'm estimating that it's going to cost the same as the old one, which is 1 130, but it's really good. Like the his. His costume is really detailed and intricate, and you could really see that in the work. And so the other thing I got is a random pull, and again, my friend did it for me, and he actually got the one I wanted, which can you guess is... Well, I can't find it. We'll put it. It's here around somewhere. Okay, so da -da -da, here you get um, one out of six chance, or one out of sixteen chances. Yeah, one out of sixteen chances. And he pulled it, and it is right here a signboard of Hikazuki. Yay! So it was super cute. Okay, so that was the last item that is ultimate related. So the next items I'm gonna move on to are not not ultimate, but they're still cute. So one thing that I got is a love life keychain, um, and this one is of. Oh, and this one again is random. So one one nine chance of getting the character that you like, and this is the one of the cheerleading costume of Aquas, which I like Aquas better than Muse. But anyway, so my friend drew, and he got my favorite character, which is Ruby. Super cute. It was a really sad story though, because there's a guy next to us who is trying to pull Ruby too, and he has the the Ita Ita bag like. The, basically it's a bag where it's the front is clear and then you put all your merchandise of your favorite character on there he had a t-shirt of Ruby he had to eat the bag of Ruby and I was just like oh my gosh like maybe like maybe I shouldn't I should just go somewhere else to get something but so I he opened my friend opened it and he got Ruby and so that means my friend or that guy did not get Ruby so this sucks but hey Anyways, so the next item I'm going to move on to is Yuri and Ice. So I really like Yuri and Ice. But I pre-ordered two Nendroids. So the uh, the pre-ordering, this is not at Anime Expo. I did it earlier, but it should be coming out soon. But I haven't had an email confirming. And those are from this small company. So, which you can tell, like, that's my preferred vendor or preferred company for buying figurines. 
and a body pillow, well not a body pillow, but a pillow of Victor. So I'm super excited for this because it, this pillow is the L-shaped one, so I guess the idea is that it will feel like you're laying next to them. So for example, this one of Victor, I just put my head here. And then, so it's like we're laying on the same bed together. So I'm going to open this up really quick so you can see. And it's double-sided. They also had one for Yuri, Yurio and Yuri. Okay, so Yuri. On ice. Merchandise. Uh, what? You're wondering where I bought this one. This one I think is a Kotobukiya exclusive. I think. I'm not sure. Oh. It's not coming out. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Victor, come home to me. Oh, I'm stuck on the bag. So, boom. So this was fifty dollars, but um, it's official merchandise, and it's so like imagine. This is where I go. Oh, so cute. So if I wanted to buy the pillow that they have like, to fill it up, it costs an extra $40. So I figure I could just make it myself. So I'm just not going to buy it. So that was my Yuri and Ice. Merchandise. Okay. This is really quick. I have a whole idea of why I'm opening all this stuff now. Just so that I could clean up my room and display it. <laughs> so, um, next thing is Welcome to Ballroom. So this one, I was really looking forward to this anime. I saw a trailer, like, I don't know, I want to say, like, earlier this year. And the way it is shown, it's kind of like the same dynamic as Yuri and Ice. But a lot of people are actually really interested in it. And they spent a lot of resources let's see advertising it in anime expo so they had a poster up and a few banners but i think the best way they were marketing it is to involve uh attack on titans in it so funny story so but basically when we came to look at their stuff um pony canyon so they had you know a fan which is cool just free and then on the back side, you see, notice how someone is making their debut as a professional ballroom dancer. This freaking Levi from Attack on Titans. This is so funny. And so I loved it so much, I bought a t-shirt. This is $35, and it's so cute. That's like, oh my gosh. And the back... This is the best part. Dance is a battle. I love this. This is such a cute spin-off. Anyway, so that was $35. And also got clear files. Clear file, clear file. So there's actually three clear files for $15, which is a good deal. So again, this is the same art. And then I'm gonna open it up so we can see what the like. Okay, so this one, this one, this intense image one, welcome to ballroom, and then the last one is the same one on the, the fan. I'm really looking for this anime, so so you should look into it, see what all the hype is about. I'm sure it's really worth the hype. So it's not just like geared towards female, it's also interesting to guys too. You're gonna watch me put my stuff away neatly, take care of my merchandise. 
I lined up very long for. This one, I don't know why. Pony Canyon usually only sells like, DVDs. And so I guess they're not used to having so many people buy stuff. So they just were stupid about how the lines were organized. Because I was lined up. And when I reached the front for just the t-shirts, they're like, oh no, you need to line up in that one big line for everything. Which I was like, okay. By the time I got to the front, I was like, I want the t-shirt. And they're just like, oh, it's over here where I was originally at to buy it. So whatever. Anyways, so with that said, that was the last anime related item. So the last two items were just kind of random. Or last three items are kind of random. That I bought for other people. So one of them is this Pikachu plush with the... um costume Sylvia, Sylvia, the the Eevee evolution, the fairy evolution. I bought this for my youngest sister. I think it was about $25. Then For my friend, I bought her oh. Well, first let's talk about my other sister. I bought her a lanyard and this was a cute, simple, or a cute strap, um, about one inch thick. I got it at a round booth for five dollars and it has the crab clasp. And then the last thing I bought is As a gift for my friend, and it is a find it right now. I'm not sure why, but it is a small wallet that I bought for my friend for her birthday that's coming up this week. I don't want to say the price, um, but it is a cute pink wallet that is in, uh, inspired by Sailor Moon. So, um, let's see. I I guess I'll have to show you some other time. But anyways, so... At the end of the con, it was about 5 o'clock, and so I got lunch at the food trucks, which they have a bunch of them right across the street. And then I was going to go to the Good Small Company panel. This started at like 6.30 or 7 or whatever, but when I got there, it's new. Um, usually it's inside the actual con, but this one, it's at the Marriott, which is the hotel right across, or the uh, Ritz-Carlton. And... This time, since it's in there, they were just want to make sure that everyone there was 18. So I was just like, well, I didn't know that. So, and mind you, I was really tired. I didn't know that. So they were like, you need a wristband to show that you're 18. I was like, can I just show you my ID card at the door? And they're like, no, it's this company policy. So I was just like, oh, really didn't want to go to do that. So I ended up just going home. And here I am today. And so let's see. I'll give you a few more seconds to look for the wallet so I can show you. And Where is it? Oh, I found it. Okay, perfect. So, again, I bought this random wallet for my friends. Uh, oh, it's in the back. Um, Yeah, I'm going to keep it in the bag. Sorry about that. But yeah, so I found her wallet. And I'm going to keep it a surprise and keep it new so I won't open it up. But uh, with that said, I really enjoyed my experience this year. I had a lot of fun just buying stuff and just seeing a lot of new stuff. And I just wish that people would just smell a little better. But this small stuff. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. If you're interested in these videos, let me know. And this year I did not cosplay. And I just didn't have time. And I just didn't really know who I wanted to cosplay as. But normally I do make my own cosplays. But thank you for listening. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.